Hold on one second. Hold on. Come on, baby. Put my phone on. Do not disturb. All right. We are we are live, and uh, I want to welcome you guys to tonight's motives and mo or motives interactive with Maleva. I'm going to turn it over to Maleva and Vershanti, and they're going to get started. So welcome everybody, and uh, I'm going to mute everybody out. And uh, looking forward to this. Except I have to mute, unmute. I have to mute all, and then unmute Maleva and Vershanti, and then we're good. All right, you guys are ready to roll. All right. Well, hi, everyone. My name is Maleva Epperson Langle. I'm a freelance makeup artist. I work in the film and TV industry. Uh, and I've been working with this brand for 11 years. And my partner in crime, V, there, she's incredible. She's based out of Ohio. And I'll let her introduce herself. But she is a phenomenal esthetician as well as an educator in our field. So I'll let you introduce yourself, V. Hi guys, I'm Vershante White, and I am, I'm sorry, I'm looking over at the stuff that I have here, but I am based out of Ohio, um, I have been an esthetician for 10 years now, and a makeup artist for 12 years, so um, I love skincare, I love makeup, I love to help other people and educate, um, and for my actual skincare beauty practice, I really take a inside out approach. So a lot of what I talk about with my clients is both inside and out, and you'll see that with my favorite products. So, yay. Awesome. So, and that's what we wanted this to be, just kind of informal. I know there are a lot of new partners, and I know a lot of partners might either really love makeup and want to know, okay, what's the skinny? Like, what should I start with? What should I use? Uh, and so we wanted to come with you and just share our favorites and why we love them, both as professionals and then even some of the ones that we love personally as well. Um, and we also wanted to give you enough information to be dangerous. There is a ton when it comes to our beauty collection, because remember, as brokers, we have the best of everything. So we have skincare, we have cosmetics, we have men's products. I mean, we, in beauty inside and out, like we talked about, we have it all. So we kind of really wanted to skinny that down and share with you just some great ones that you might want to start with and why or even if you're not in the beauty industry or don't even care about makeup you at least know enough um, to speak with confidence when it comes to helping women find a solution or finding someone in the field that you might want to expand your business with um okay so that being said i guess maybe i'll take it away first and we'll try and go through stages like v if we want to start with maybe like beauty inside stuff and then maybe skincare and then maybe makeup and once yeah, again like this that. isn't a product training, this isn't a skincare training this is like telling you some of our favorites um so v i know you have inside stuff you want to talk about inside stuff okay i'll go on to talk about inside stuff so i'm literally mixing this joint right now as we speak um because i'm about to take my second dose for the day so inside we have the opc3 beauty blend and because I'm in the beauty business, of course, this is, I mean, you can, it's kind of like something that you could use even as a multivitamin. This that Maleva is holding up is great for like our events or little cocktails that you can have with clients to make it fun and light while still getting that information to them and allowing them to taste it. So let's talk about how to introduce the product. Or, or first, let's backtrack. Let's talk about what the product is. So for one, it is an antioxidant. And a lot of people hear that word, but they don't really know what it means. So mm -hmm. everything in our body is made up of cells. Cells multiply. And they know they have an assigned job from birth. Each cell has an assigned job. And so what happens is it's this thing called a free radical. And so I like to explain it as like this, like, bad guy or a, think about a bad guy with a broken heart he comes and he attacks the good cell and now that good cell also has a broken heart and they don't kill themselves they just go on and keep on multiplying so you got all these people that are bad with broken hearts and they keep multiplying and then you have this like love angel here that comes in and saves the day by healing that bad cell it connects to it and it kills it and now it keeps reproducing that and the, so the cell, cells then know hey that's what my job is this is what i'm going to do and it goes back to what it's supposed to do and that's the non-scientific explanation of it right I like so, 
so what you do with this it has first and foremost it has vitamin d vitamin c um along with the antioxidant it also has calcium magnesium and potassium so those are some of the like building blocks to you getting your supplements in or the, or the building blocks to like helping with your nutrition um a lot of people who think hair skin and nails they're going to think about their b vitamins which is biotin the one you'll hear a lot about and that's going to help you have like healthy nails healthy skin um healthy hair your calcium for people who have really dry irritated skin calcium is a real uh potent supplement to help with that people don't know that but making sure you have the adequate amount of calcium can help you battle your dry skin i have eczema and so i know top notch about like skin inflammation and um dryness and itchiness so the inflammation is getting attacked from the lpc3 and the dryness is getting attacked from the calcium standpoint along with the other um, great vitamins that are in there and minerals so it's important to have both vitamins and minerals you need to take it every day because it doesn't stay in your system um you either pass it through urination or it's fat soluble so you take one so i have this mix here this is one of these over caps so this is two ounces so you put two ounces of water in your glass twice so that's four ounces and i just did that just for the uh, so you can see it and then you pour two caps of these and you mix it and you gump it down So I actually do that in front of my clients like I don't pre-mix it I explain it because guess what the first time I had this I totally messed it up and just recently on the trip I shook it up not thinking and set it down It wasn't foaming when I said it when I like went to drink it I opened it turned my head and it was everywhere all over the uh, hotel sheets it was bad so uh -huh. you want to be careful because it will start to bubble you want to be careful not to shake it but to stir um and so a lot of you guys know that already but for you guys that don't or don't feel comfortable with doing it or don't feel comfortable talking supplements with your clients or your friends or whatever because you're not an expert just do it you know um everything that you are telling them is on the product label it's on the website and you can go and show them the science and the facts so don't be afraid to share that because it's helpful so that is one of my favorite products it's like really 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 high at the top of my list for many reasons for the vitamin d for the calcium and especially the antioxidant i get a lot of compliments on my skin I mm -hmm. always tell them it's not just what you put on the outside, it's what you put on the inside um, and how much drink water. And that's this is great to say, like, start your day with this because you're going to automatically get four ounces of water. If you take another one of our supplements that requires four more ounces, you already are, have started your day with eight ounces of water straight from the gate. And now all you need is, what, seven more bottles of water for the day. <laughs> And it tastes like a very sweet tart. Like yeah. they're really yummy. Um, and the best thing too is like, listen, like we're professionals, but we're also your everyday women. And so don't feel like you have to know all the science and the FAQs in order to be able to use it and retail these products effectively. Have the experience yourself and then tell people what you're experienced with. Know that if someone has issues like Vershante talked about, or they have gut issues because our gut detoxes through our skin. So that's where we want to start first. So it really is the cornerstone of every great beauty routine. So that's one that you feel can feel confident. Use it yourself. It tastes amazing. And it has all those powerful, powerful antioxidants with specific ingredients to help with the skin, along with hyaluronic acid, which is incredible. So yeah, that I forgot awesome. that one. Do you so have any you other have, inside stuff or do you want to move to skin? Yeah, if you have like achy joints, Hyaluronic acid is good for that because it actually binds water to the cells and helps cushion those joints. We hear a lot about it from the outside perspective as far as like a topical thing because it became a buzzword in skincare. Mm -hmm. But know that hyaluronic acid, like you need that inside your body. You actually have it and it depletes it. Um, it's going to help as a couple other products that I have here is going to help with building up that elastin and the collagen and those fibers in the skin. It helps with your capillary. So ladies with, um, um, or just not ladies, but 
people. You know, we need circulation. If your capillaries are not like which are a part of your vein, your veins, like the blood has to get through those blocked capillaries, it helps to clear that, which for us um, who tend to get red, those are your capillaries breaking. If you have um, rosacea, you see them a lot more, those little itty bitty tiny veins, it helps to keep the blood being able to flow through those little areas so that you're not getting blockage. So definitely 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 don't be afraid to talk about it just talk like she said talk about it from your perspective which first you must try it to have a perspective so talk about it from your perspective and chill just be cool about it like talk have fun let them taste it and then if they start if you have somebody that's like a supplement freak and they know like way more than you know or they start asking you questions that you don't know that's the best way to say hey you know what I don't know that let's find that out I have someone that we can contact that'll put us up on game about this and that's what you're doing <laughs> right phone a friend <laughs> I phone and friends all the time tools. so there's like so many different like ingredients and FAQs and reviews and stuff use your tools your website also is an incredible tool along with obviously your team um, because we've been around and, and we know what we like and, and why we like it um, any other inside stuff? Um, it is, it retails for $77 and I believe we may get it for like maybe around $60 or $55 like or something. More 56, something yeah, like that. something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So yeah, get it. Try it if you haven't <laughs> already. Good retail profit. And I also <laughs> like, I love that we're talking, even though we're talking like beauty and most people think cosmetics, we're going to talk about that trifecta, which for me, the trifecta of beauty is your cosmetic, your skin care, and your vitamins and supplementation. And the best thing is because we have access to all of it, you're going to have something that your customer falls in love with that they're going to keep reordering from. So it's really important to kind of like incorporate all three of these into your routine. Yeah, I'm because this is a 45 day serving. 45 yep. day serving. So what you want to do is if you're re reselling this and you got this from someone, at 30, at, well, follow up with them after they've taken it a couple of days. And at 30 days, remind them like, hey, you know, it's about time you order. That way they don't run out, you know, that mm -hmm. you can get it to them before their 30, 45 days are up. And that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any more um, gut stuff or are we moving on to skin? Moving on to skin. Okay. So one of my favorite doubles as a skincare and a cosmetic. And it's so hard because I've been working with this brand professionally for 11 years. And of course, I've been using it personally. So like Rishante was making fun of me because I, I pulled so many products. I'm like, okay, I have to skinny it down. Like what are my, like I have tiers of favorites. There's like my favorites. Then there's like absolute favorites. Then there's like ultimate favorites. Then there's like penultimate favorites. Um, so one of these that I'm about to talk about is like my penultimate favorite. I don't even know if that's a word, but like I won't leave my house without it. And if I did on my way to a gig, I would turn around and come back for it. Um, so this is from, we have, we're brokers. So we have four different broker lines of skincare, but this is our Lumiere de Vie pore minimizing serum. This stuff is no joke. It's a skincare, but it's also a cosmetic. So I'll demo a little bit. So think of it kind of like a tinted moisturizer a tinted serum so it has a little bit of a tint but it's wonderful on every skin tone every skin type what i love is when you use it and it's just like goes really really nicely into the skin has that really really pretty like luminosity it's so to beautiful it. it's so pretty um so has a little bit of a luminosity to it so there are a couple reasons that i love it one, I use it for like my dry skin, my dehydrated skin, or my vintage skin women, especially underneath our eyes is the first area where we look dehydrated. We get, tend to get a little crepey, a little dull, a little dry. So I love to place this right underneath the eyes of my like men and my women because you don't see it. It goes right into the skin, so you don't see color on the skin. And it gives this really nice lush like dewy luminous look uh, which really helps brighten up eyes so that's one of the reasons you can use it underneath or you can use it over your concealer or your makeup if you just need to kind of refresh throughout the day or if you put your concealer on and it tends to look maybe just a little dry you can take just a little dab of that 
and tap that into the skin and it'll nice like smooth out your concealer. Love, love, love it for that. The other thing I love it for is because it's a pore minimizing serum. It's really great for your pores. I dare you put a little bit on a brush, go to your nose, like wherever you might see some pores and just use it in a circular motion with your brush. You will literally see them start to erase. Like it's like your pores vanish. And I love it because it doesn't settle into your pores. It stays on top and kind of acts as that blur filter to give you a really nice canvas to then put your product on top or it's coming summertime. People don't like to wear a lot of makeup. So you might ditch your foundation and just use this. Um, I really, really love this product. And it's not just for women. I also use it on a lot of men on set. I've even used it on my husband before he goes to work. He has like, it's really great for redness. So he's like, can you do something? And I'll just like put a little bit of that. Minimizes the redness. And then like the pimples don't look so big. He's not watching. So <laughs> he doesn't have to call it about. Don't tell that man business. <laughs> that's our Lumiere Divi Pore Minimizing Serum. I, I seriously I can't speak enough about this product. If I only had to pick three, like this would be one of my three. I never go without it. Love this stuff. Once again, it's the Lumiere Divi Pore Minimizing Serum. Great for all skin tones, all skin types. Next. That was so cute and like, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Okay, so speaking you can talk of, about what you love, right? You can see the excitement. I'm not trying to pitch you all. You're all a part of the business. Like I'm just sharing. These are actually our favorite products that we use all the time. Speaking of my boo thing, so this is my this is my this is Bay. Okay, so <laughs> like I would marry I would marry the OPC. This is this is my boyfriend for sure. Like my forever Bay. Okay, and this is why. So, okay, Her, um, <laughs> pH normalizer, skin intelligence, okay? Mm -hmm. So I have, look, look, I got, I have, this is in my car, this is in my kit, this is on my dresser, this is every, in, in my gym bag, everywhere, and here's why. So from my wig, to my face, to refreshing makeup, to some of my custom products that I make to mm -hmm. feeling sticky and sweaty at the gym, everything. And when it says pH normalizer, so, okay, what does that even mean, right? So our body, skin, water, everything, hair, everything has a pH scale, which is from acidic to alkaline from zero to 14, right? And then seven is in the middle and seven is neutral. For your skin, our skin needs to be slightly acidic. So that's around a 5.5 is where our skin needs to be. Oh my God, you and these. <laughs> I'm your Vanna. I'm showing zero to 14. That was seven. This is like right in between. Oh no, you froze. Are you frozen? Is she frozen? Come back to us, B. Teach us about pH normalizing. Oh my gosh, she's really frozen. Well, until she comes back in, that's what she's talking about. So our skin is meant to be more on the acidic scale, right in that range. Here's the problem. A lot of people are cleansing and going right to their moisturizer. And if your skin isn't pH balanced, everything's just sitting on top. So we're supposed to be here. We've cleansed. We've used water, which has now thrown our skin all the way into alkaline. It takes 30 minutes for your, oh, you're back. Turn your, turn your um, speaker, turn your mic on. Mic. Okay. There you go. Mic one, two, one, two, check, check. Okay, I'm here. So back to pH normalizer. So your skin needs to be at a 5.5 pH, and why is that important? So our skin is not there to just look pretty it's there to do a job and the job is to protect you your inside organs from the outside world right if you have cuts and tears and all of that your body is susceptible to receiving germs and bacteria so you have to keep your body at a your or your skin at a 5.5 which is slightly acidic for the purpose of your acid mantle barrier that's the it's like an invisible barrier on your skin to do its job so when you're too dry, you're too oily, you're too one way or the other, your skin is not doing your, its job sufficiently. 
more so when you're dry when you're dry that's that's like when i see people come in and their skin is very dry and very flaky and crepey looking i'm more i'm almost more concerned for them than my people who are oily because i'm concerned for them because their skin is not functioning to protect them mm -hmm. okay so you want to get your body back there what this does for it's it's a, like a t it's a toner so a lot of people miss the step in their skincare called toning um this happens after cleansing before putting on any other product okay so you you need to cleanse your skin with the appropriate cleanser that matters the appropriate cleanser you need to cleanse your skin for at least 60 seconds if you have on makeup do that twice so mm -hmm. tune in seconds. tomorrow i think bean is talking about yes, skin good care. great perfect so tune in tomorrow don't forget okay so then you're gonna spray i can bathe in this stuff it smells so good it smells like lemongrass because of the lemongrass extract mm -hmm. so you're gonna mist it on your skin and you uh, can allow it to absorb or you can spray it on a cotton um cotton round something that doesn't like not a cotton ball because they tend to leave lint but something that doesn't have lint and you can just wipe it onto your skin so it's going to exfoliate the skin which is going to help keep the skin bright it's going to help keep those uh, skin cells turning over it's going to take it back to its ph level of 5.5 .5 so that it's your skin is working optimally it's also going to help balance moisture so what does that mean when you hear fixing moisture balancing moisture um getting the adequate moisture a lot of people who are oily you guys run from anybody talking about moisture that's the mm -hmm. wrong thing to run back to it because that is what you need you need to balance the moisture because there is an imbalance there that's happening so your body is creating more oil to help your body to be able to function properly your body is like hey there's not enough oil going on let me create more oil which leads to enlarged pores mm -hmm. which leads to acne and breakouts and so forth and so on because the body is saying hey there's something not working right let me try to fix it on my own okay so fade now when it comes to itchy scalp when it comes to you can spray this on your scalp it helps to clear Revitalize that Revitalize beach curls right all oh, while we were going to conference this was my wig treatment y'all remember the gray wig that i had on this was keeping that wig popped it okay so it the curls stayed it was looking all nice and healthy it was looking good mm -hmm. everybody was complimenting me on my wig this is this this is bay remember bay okay so um i wrote a note how much was this it is like 1895 retail 1895 for eight ounces that's ridiculous our price and understand this real quick being a broker we move right from the manufacturer to the end consumer so we don't have all of those middlemen that jack up the price of products that you would find on the shelves so i tell people because we're a broker we pass that savings along to our customers it's huge you guys get it <laughs> get this. own it have it everywhere own it have it get three okay don't get in one, the get fridge three. really good for the summer get a little bit of a burn it has aloe in it so really good to spritz for that like after sun mm -hmm. protect like care it's also mm -hmm. really good for bug bites yes because and of the, the grass, bra right? rash and razor rash mm. it's nasty but i'm saying it works it's good ladies after you shave for like underneath the arms and stuff like it's oh, it's a really oh, good aftercare wait wait underneath There's the more. arm I, I, underneath the arm so like i said i have eczema okay i deal with this all the time so i was switching deodorant because i wanted to switch from a uh like i was using the sprays and i wanted to switch from the deodorant with the aluminum in it to something more natural mm -hmm. so i tried to use like the natural deodorants but a lot of them are creams and so i forgot why i was using the sprays and so i went to the cream deodorant the natural deodorant that is a cream and or they're like they're a stick but they are way more creamy than your yeah. typical deodorant with the aluminum mm -hmm. and i started to get a rash under my arm that was itching really bad mm, so i heard that thankfully i have the skills to be able to go in the treatment room and 
ex, ex, like really do like I had to do chemical pills on my underarms to get the, the darkness to go away because we were approaching summer and I'm like I can't be out here like this but in the meantime I was not using deodorant and I was spraying under my arms with it nice I wasn't I, I mean I wasn't I wasn't completely no smell I'm not gonna say I was like zero there was zero smell happening but I wasn't clear the room you get me you feel me I wasn't clear the room I just I could smell myself you know what I mean but I would be acting like my friends and people around me like what stink and they was like no I don't smell you but I smell I smell myself but this helps so for bang get it. use it underneath too you can spray it and then if you're using like an aluminum free because we have one with our shopping annuity brand for those that have had that experience with like rashes with natural products you can spray that first and then use the deodorant and i've heard a lot of reviews about it not being an issue anymore and so, honestly you love need to, you honestly need to do a, a break in between switching anyway to allow mm -hmm. like the toxins to come out because yeah. you're you what you don't realize is that your underarms are full of toxins um because our bodies sweat to pull out toxins so your underarms are full of toxins so this is going to help in that you need to give yourself a break to transition anyway so definitely use that for that awesome okay. hey Lena, we're excited hey for girl you okay hey, hey big v <laughs> yes big v little v <laughs> um okay so another skincare-ish product uh, that you wouldn't normally think like I talk about as a female, but I love the Lumiere de V Ohms line, homies, <laughs> Lumiere de V Ohms oh. line. Um, they have a beard elixir. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little blurry. Uh, it's four different nut oils. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Um, I'm like, yes, men, it's four different nut oils. Um, it has a really light like very very light fresh scent a lot of problems with like men's product is they try to make them super manly smelling and they're like super musky and like bleh. um so this is very fresh which is nice because then their smell isn't coming from their beard they can put like their own smell on um but i really like it because it's not glittery a lot of times in film, like I have men that have facial hair, but a lot of men's products, if you've ever seen it, I bet if you've watched reality TV, you've seen it, their beards almost look glittery, like shimmery or their hair that's coming from the It's, re it's reflecting the light. I mean, yeah. the uh, light is reflecting off their beard, beard. Right. And I can't have that in film. And so I love this because it softens the hair make sure it's going like all the same direction, but it really conditions that skin underneath the hair. Um, and it helps prevent like ingrown hairs. It's a really incredible product, but I also use it because it's multi-purpose. I use it for like the men's eyebrows, men's mustaches, men's beard, flyaways. A lot of times I'm doing hair on set, just maintenance and there's, you know, with the lights, flyaways are everywhere. So I'll use a little bit pump it on my fingers, kind of move it around or rub it onto a comb. And then I'll use that just to kind of tame some of the flyaways. So I have a multi-purpose product, but then also like, I'm not going to get too into it because maybe it's not like super PC, but just think other places, maybe ladies might have hair. This is really great for conditioning under there as well. Just saying. So multi-use product, love it a lot. And now you see why I was laughing <laughs> the minute she said no. No oils. <laughs> oh, four different nut oils. Um, and it doesn't just, it smells really, really like fresh. I, I like it a lot, but I like it once again because multi-use products. People want like a good investment. People aren't scared to spend money. They just want to make sure what they're using, they're going to love. It's going to work. And maybe if they can use it for multiple things, then wonderful. So I really hey, Jason like said this is a family that. show, by the way. Jason <laughs> said this was a family show. <laughs> hey, I kept that pretty PG. Kept that pretty PG. <laughs> um, okay, so I think that's the end of skincare stuff for me. Do you have any more skincare? There's more skincare that I love, love, love. I just didn't want to get too much into skincare because that's the end of tomorrow. I think this is a good, a good um, product to segue from skin to makeup. And mm -hmm. that is... <gasps> Make a towel. I have a towel. You're sexy. You take it. You take okay. it. Okay. So I love these for several reasons. For one, 
they are very, let me show you, they're really pushy. <coughs> like, do you see the, mm, and it smells, it smells so good. Smell it, sniff it. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> so they're very thick. Like you see the, the texture quilted, on those? Kinda. Yeah, they're very thick, like like a cloth. They're very nice, they, and they're they're actually pretty big. Mm -hmm. People are out of toilet paper right now. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you could see how big it is, so I like this because it feels very gentle on the skin. For me, a lot of times um, before having this wonderful product, a lot of times the makeup wipes. All this is what I would experience before. One, it would feel stingy. Two, it would feel like sticky and really dry afterwards. Or after, tugging. Yeah, mm -hmm. after using a makeup wipe to the point where I stopped using makeup wipes, okay? And I almost missed out on this lovely friend that I have here because I had come to the conclusion that I didn't like makeup wipes. And then I was like, you know what? Let me let me try it. Um, and 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 I tried it and I loved it. Okay, so this is the best makeup wipe. And I'm saying I'm saying this is the best makeup wipe I've ever. This is an esthetician, y'all. And that's like I don't I don't really throw that out a lot. Like when I say like the best, I may say it's my favorite. But I'm saying it's the best makeup wipe that I've used for those reasons that it is. I've used it on several different skin types. It's not irritating. It's not drying. It actually gets the makeup off. Um, and when I use it, I actually, especially when I'm using it on other people, I actually wipe, I actually wrap my hand like this. That way, because this is where I'm wiping this part right here. I get this whole thing dirty. I keep moving around. That way, it's like I have a clean area every time I go to wipe. So I'm like, I'm like this, and I move slow. I allow the the ingredients in here to actually do their job. So I'm not like, that's not how you, that's not how you get the job done. You move, move slow. You're not scrubbing the tub. You're wiping the face. Move slow and always in a in an upward motion that's, that way you you're getting up under there and up and out and because you're applying pressure you don't want to be dragging the face down okay so that's how I use these I move nice and slow I apply, apply some pressure and I allow the product to actually work to get the makeup up and then I move to a new clean section that way you can get your money's worth out of one towelette okay so these retail for um, eight fifty, and for thirty, for not thirty of them, twenty-five. Yeah, so eight fifty for thirty of them, um, and they, they smell very, um, it's very soft. It's not a very strong smell, mm -hmm. but it smells clean. I don't, I can't even. It's like soft and clean. That's that's all I can give you. I can't really <laughs> say like what else I I can smell there, but. Um, it's lovely, and I'm gonna use this after um we're done to go ahead die <laughs> I just wanted to, I, you, you guys are doing awesome. I just want to give a heads up. I just want to give a heads up. you guys have all the time in the world finish however you want. I just want to let everybody know who's tuning in to see the how to show the plan workshop um that um for everybody that's watching now, this is gonna be ordinarily each week with Malave and Verchanti at seven p m Eastern time. Uh, today we just had a little conflict of schedule so it was 8 p.m tonight and then the business plan um uh, how to uh, workshop is at 8 30 typically but they're going to start after malave and Vershanti are done and that's no pressure you guys take your time okay okay we can be okay. out of, okay we got like we got like 15 minutes or less and we'll be you're out fine here. take your time listen we'll take your moved. time they'll pick up when you're done no rush okay <laughs> um Okay, so are, do you, are you finished on the makeup wipes? I'm, I'm done, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so moving on, still skin, but this time a cosmetic. 
Think of, okay, when you're going to prime or when you're going to paint your wall, you're going to prime it first, right? So you put your primer on. That face primer, we have the same thing for your face. We have one called a perfecting face primer. When you put that on, it helps even out the skin tone, um, helps in, uh, even out imperfections, and it gives your foundation something to cling on to. So it kind of helps the look of it and also helps how long it applies. So that's the priming station. But before you paint your wall, you're then going to spackle the cracks, right? This is your crack spackle. It's called InstaSmooth. It comes, it looks like our primer, it's just in a smaller one. It's called InstaSmooth. I, another one, like I would turn my car right around to pick this up. Um, the face primer is clear. The InstaSmooth has a little bit of like a slight tint. Come out but you can still use it on any skin tone, any skin type. Here's my trick. When you apply it, a little goes a long way. If, if you're trying to like conceal lines, think of this product also like the blur filter on your camera. So the Lumiere Min Pore Minimizing Serum was part of your skincare before you start the other stuff. This is after your primer, before your foundation, or you could even do it as a touch up after your foundation. So if you want to minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, you're going to apply this product, lost my hair, perpendicular to the line you're trying to conceal. For example, a forehead line, you would pick some up on your brush. I'm just gonna use my finger, don't yell at me. Um, and you're going to apply it perpendicular to the line you're trying to conceal. And what I do is I kind of like hold it apart, let it so sit can... for a second, and then let it go. And I'm telling you, this is an incredible product for all ages, because we all have like fine lines. So think, okay, crow's feet, do the same thing, perpendicular, laugh lines, perpendicular, right? Sideways motion, but then pores, what shape is a pore? It's a circle. So I'll use this in a circular motion to help blend out the appearance of pores. And once again, I would use a brush. I don't use my finger for this part. This is also really great for under the eyes too. And just once again, think of this like a blur filter. So this isn't adding color to the face. It's just minimizing the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. It's an incredible product to then now put your paint on. Now put your foundation and it's going to help you look younger. It's also going to help the product last longer. And it's also going to help even out the skin. This is another product that I use on both men and women because it doesn't have color. It does a really great job of also evening out redness in the skin. So think rosacea, pinkness, acne scarring. Instead of going right to like the color correctors, Use the InstaSmooth first because it doesn't add color and it really helps minimize the appearance of that redness as well. Love InstaSmooth. I love that you were prepared, V, with like all of your prices. I want to say this is $19.95 retail. And this will only, last it still lasts so long. I only came prepared with my prices because I was just trying to make sure I was, I was meeting with... You, your level of expertise here. <laughs> I mean, you came with 21 products like <laughs> right out the gate. So I was just like, the least I can the least I could do is tell you how much it is. That's that's all. You know. Okay, that's insta smooth. Um, I think I have another face face one. I have actually have a foundation. So should I go? No. Next? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we have a few different prepackaged foundations and Vershante and I are going to talk a whole separate video themed around our custom blends because we both love it so much and that's an entire different division of our company so we'll talk about that in a separate video stay tuned um, but we do have a prepackaged product that's relatively new-ish and it's called our illuminating liquid foundation real quickly I love it because one I think it has 19 shades um, but it also has a medium dewy coverage. So it has a really nice sheen without looking greasy or oily. I love it. It's kind of like my go-to foundation because it covers very well, but I can build upon that coverage and it still looks like their skin. But I also really like to use it as a concealer because listen, like that old cakey grandma concealer that people were using for the longest time is out. 
skin is in for 2020. And so I usually, I don't use a concealer anymore. I just use this because it has really pretty brightening. Um, I also love it too, because a lot of times when I do my corporate video shoots, the clients already have some kind of makeup they've already had on that day. And I don't have a lot of time with them. So I just have to kind of even out their skin and go with it. And so I really like this product for that. So think um, medium coverage, really dewy, so it's very pretty. Although if you like more of a matte look, you can just put some powder over top. Really great concealer. Also is really nice for brightening. So think brightening as well. I really like this. It's our illuminating liquid foundation. Once again, multi-use product. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Take it away, what, what do you have next? You muted yourself again. Unmute. Okay. I don't know how I keep doing that. So my next product is a brow pencil. Oh. So I love brows. If you are on my Instagram page, please, for Shantae Lynn Artistry, if you're not, you will know that I love brows. And so this is one of my favorite products. So um, this is the medium, medium brown. And if you, I'm sorry, I can't, I, I'm not, okay, there we go. I, I found it. So it has a, a tip. So if you are using this on clients, like if you're using this on someone besides yourself, before you turn this down, you would wipe with alcohol and you want to make sure it's at least like 70% alcohol and then you can turn it down and put the cap back on okay so just for that for the whole point of that but if you're using it on yourself it's really nice I'll like demonstrate it even though my brows are kind of filled in already so it's really nice and you just use I always say use like short hair strokes and you start, if you notice, I didn't start in the front of my brow. I started towards the middle and I worked myself out and then I will come towards the front. And I never do the very, very front of my brow. What I do is use this little lovely thing here and I mm -hmm. just like fully the color towards the front of my brow. That gives you that nice soft that. eyebrow without looking like I always say, like, you should, especially if you don't have on any makeup, you should be able to fill in your eyebrows. My next, in my next product, products, you should be able to do those three. I'm not going to tell you yet, but you should be able to fill in your eyebrows and not look so overdone or have them look like they're, like, coming out at you, you know, 3D Groucho Mars. So you just kind of, like, softly brush that color into the eyebrow and it's lovely so this is $18.95 is the retail uh price of that and they do come in other colors so medium brown is just one of the colors I believe it comes in a like three other shades yeah and I think Lala has two too so I think there okay. might be a total of five so this one okay so this one is the Lala one um, so if you go on the website, you'll see. <laughs> Perfect. So that's brows. Um, I have two cheek products. So one is our, like one of our top, top, top sellers. I love this on everyone. It's a bronzer. Now the problem with a lot of bronzers is women are scared to use it because they don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa because they're too orange or too warm. So what I love about our Miami Glow is it's very neutral. And I don't know if you can tell here, but it has, oh, there you go, some light reflecting mm -hmm. shimmer in there. So think all of our products are cosmeceuticals, meaning they're built in skincare. They're better, they're better on your skin than off. Very healthy for the skin, built in skincare. So whenever you see these kind of like pretty flecks in here, think of it like light reflecting qualities, reflecting light away from fine lines, wrinkles, and imperfections. It's not glitter. So it looks really pretty on the skin. This is also one of JLo's top um, that she talked about in an article. They're like, where do you get your JLo Glow? She said Miami Glow Bronzer from Motives. Um, it also helps that she's really good friends with the founder of our company. Um, so you can just see, I'm going to put a little bit on. It's very, very pretty. 
very neutral and it just has a little bit of that light reflecting shimmer in there. So I love this on all skin tones, all skin types. See how pretty that is? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's our Miami Glow Bronzer, number one. I use it on everyone. Um, that's that one, but also... Can I say something about Miami Glow yeah. before you go ahead. So go ahead. for the Miami Glow on me, I also love it. And so I'm saying this because clearly me and Malay are two different skin tones, right? So I... <laughs> <laughs> so I like instead of like her placement was down here mm -hmm. I like to put it here on me good point so I, like highlighting. I yeah so I kind of put it more at the tops of my cheeks instead of um instead of um more at the hollows of my cheek mm -hmm. so and I like to put it on my cupid's bow down the center of my nose just really kind of like highlighting and it yes. brings that nice glow to the skin it it doesn't look too it's not too shimmery it looks very it looks very nice and subtle so people I'm all like you guys know me I like to I if you see me you know I like blush and I like highlighter so yeah would you say you like Jesus to see it or something like that <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost positive if you said that once didn't you you're like I want Jesus to see me on earth <laughs> Yes, that's so funny that that's you remember good. that. That's why I'm laughing. Yes, I like I like highlighter, and I I want I want Jesus to be able to see me if he's looking down. I want him to be like, "There's Brishan." Say, I knew I'll find her. <laughs> well, speaking of highlighter, we're gonna pull out my favorite. It's a newer product. It's called Halo. It looks white but it's actually iridescent and has, oh, it's kind of hard to tell, a real pretty like golden sheen undertone. I'm more oily skin type, so I was always scared of some highlighters making me look too oily or greasy throughout the day. I've not experienced that with this highlighter. I have a little on now, and can you see mm. that? It Isn't looks that good. Beautiful? It is so pretty. This is what I used for my wedding day but i love this on everybody and just like Rishanti talked about how she applies the miami glow that's how i apply this halo so top of the cheekbone corner of the forehead center bridge of the nose and cupid's bow you can also use it to brighten up the inner corner of the eye or um where you would put like a light eyeshadow it's kind of add lift to the brow bone you could use this as well so think of this as more of your golden glow if you like more of a pearl eye shimmer we have that in a product that i think Versace is going to talk about next um but when it comes to cheek products no my glow and halo are my go-to's i'm not you're not talking about it do i know another favorite product yeah oh okay i'll go get it <laughs> what are you talking about next i'll go get it Okay, I'm talking about my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. Do you, wait, let me let me get really close. Can you see my lashes? <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> so, my favorite mascara is actually the um, Lustify mascara. It is really like, look at it. Oh, that's so, Lala's. Yeah. Is that the metal one? Yes. No. What? It's so, huh? What Isn't that say? like a heavy metal? Doesn't it look like it has kind oh, of like yeah, yeah, Oh, yeah, yeah. It's really it? heavy. It's really heavy. Yeah, yeah. Lala's um, voluminizing mascara. Yeah. Okay, did I say Lustify? It's because it's my fault. I told you that's what it was. That's not what it was. I okay, just it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, guys. Anyway, it's the um, volum voluminizing mascara. I love this one because it's very like I had issues with mascara and if you I mean that's the you keep hearing me say like I had an issue and one of my favorite products fits the issue that I had right mm -hmm. you love you're that. following me with with how this is going right so I had issues with mascara I had a pain point with mascara for one um I really like to have, I, I like, I'm like a bare, bare minimum when it comes to my everyday makeup. I don't really do too much. So mascara is one of my favorite products, but I always would have like either allergies where it would bother my eyes 
um, because I already have allergies and sensitivities, or it would dry and start to flake. And I almost crashed my car because of some mascara that flaked on me at hour 12 after me doing a full day's work shift, okay? Um, so I went without mascara again for a long time. So I went without using makeup wipes. I went without using mascara for a long time. And so then I got a hold of this mascara and I tried it. And I, like, I actually tried it on the day when I didn't have to wear it that long. Um, because I was really, honestly, really worried about it flaking and me not being able to see and I'm, you know, driving home from work. So I tried it on a day where I didn't have to wear it that long and I noticed that my lashes, they felt soft. Then I tried it on another day um, where it was really hot and I was sweaty and it didn't, like, it didn't leak all over my face. It's this one is not waterproof. I personally don't like wearing waterproof mascaras. I use waterproof mascaras when I'm doing um, work as an artist, but I personally don't wear waterproof on a daily basis. Now, if I know that I'm gonna cry, then <laughs> then that then I like if I have any type of feeling that I might cry or I need waterproof, I put out what Malay just showed you. It's like the Top Gun. And sometimes I'll even wear lashes. So one of my faves, I want to say this one is like 18 or 1995, mm -hmm. somewhere Stay there. Right um, and it's really, really black. It makes my lashes like look thicker and longer. And it feels really soft. It actually conditions your lashes. So it, I mean, having conditioned lashes is just like having conditioned hair. It helps with... Um, retention and growth so mm -hmm. there's that your turn so i love and here's the one uh, the beautiful thing about being a broker is that you're also going to gravitate towards different products which is amazing we don't just have one mascara and expect everybody to love it we have like four or five different mascaras so pick one that you love one that I use every day is our Fiber Lush mascara. This is super water resistant, which is one of the reasons I love it. It also thickens and lengthens because for me, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like zero lashes. I have a full set, but they're super short. And so I like to have volume. Yes, but I also like to have length. I was like, which way is volume? Yeah, thickness, lushness, but I also like length. Um, and so I had tried other mascaras on the market. Here's a cool thing about our company. We deal in trends, not fads. So a lot of times if someone comes out with something new, like a company, we'll sit back and see how the reception is, what are the problems, and can we find a manufacturer that will make it a skincare product and make it better? So mm. we didn't have a fiber mascara for about over a year, and everybody was like, fiber, fiber, fiber. We came out with a one-step, versus a three-step and made sure it was nylon fibers, not fiberglass, just so you all know. But that's the mm -hmm. intent of this company. We don't deal in fads, we deal in trends and make sure it is the best or we won't bother. So I love this mascara, like I said, length, thickness, um, water resistance, I use it on all my brides. And it also tapers into this real fine tip. If you can see that, it starts wide and kind of tapers down. So you really can get into all of the little lash places and really build that coverage. You can use several layers if you want and it won't get flaky. Uh, so that's why this one's my favorite. But once again, like Vershante likes the Lala one. I like this one. I've also used our Lustrify. So it's just kind of like pick one, try it and see what's your favorite. You'll be able to retail what you love and at the end of the day, most people wear mascara anyway. So let them pick. Okay, mascara. We're winding down here. What do you got next? Okay, so my next favorite is the Elements palette. You Why are talking I... about it. Oh, oh, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, okay, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Everybody, go ahead. Okay, so I'm swatching right now. That, that way you can see it. And I, I'm just swatching just a little bit. Um... So I love this palette for several reasons. Hers is like, this is this one that I have is a new one. I, I didn't want to bring out the one that I use all the time 
because it looks like that. So I just <laughs> grab. I grab. This is my uh, pro one. You don't want to. You don't want to see my personal one. <laughs> yeah, I grab. I grabbed a new one. This is like this. This hasn't barely been touched. But I always lose the brush. So that's Great. first things first. First things first for me is that I always lose this brush. It gets. <laughs> um, once I clean brushes, it's in a swarm of. It's in a like swarm of brushes so I'm not gonna like go through and try to find it again but it comes with a brush um it comes with this huge mirror um and it's a great it's a great everyday uh eyeshadow palette it's a great professional palette but, oh there's the brush it's a great professional palette because it's great for bridal for one it's a great bridal palette mm -hmm. um Several of these colors can be like an all over lit color. It's great for if you want to do a smoky eye, you actually, depending on your um, skin tone, you actually have one, two, three, four, these four shades to be like the base of your smoky. Um, mm -hmm. And if you have a fairer skin tone, then you actually have six shades to be the base of your smoky eye um i love using this sometimes even as a highlighter it's gorgeous as a highlighter and think like moon, like a pearl so mm -hmm. i showed you halo which is more golden that one what we were talking about before you can use as your highlighter it's a little more of a cool almost like pearl like shimmer to it yeah and i i typically if i reach for that as a highlighter i'm typically working on someone who has very fair skin mm -hmm. and I'm only using a little bit it, it gives like if you are like trying to give off a very like um like that like glassy skin look that is a go it's beautiful on the skin um mm -hmm. for my very fair skin ladies um but yeah I love this palette to travel with because I have several go-to colors and I have a big mirror. Like, even if I'm not going to use this palette for the colors, to travel, sometimes it's hard because you got to be able to do your makeup. Like, especially when we're at conference and we're, like, loading all those girls in, in a room, we got to be able to do our makeup at any corner. And it's with this. So mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite palettes. And it has four matte shades and four lightly pearl to shimmer shades. None of them are glittery, which I as a professional enjoy because a lot of times I'll grab a palette and if half of them are glitter, I can't use them. So um, I, didn't, I barely put this, I barely touched this thing and I just like slightly put it on my hand. Yeah. Um, and the color payoff is great. It lasts mm -hmm. you forever because these, they're big. It lasts forever. Because of blushes. Yeah. So that that's that's that. Great. Even that black, it's like black black. That's another thing. Um, sometimes it's hard for us to find like super black. Um, some of our blacks are like grayish tone, and they're not black. And that black is super black. I've used it um, as eyeliner before. It, they blend great. I've even used I've used the like um this brown here it's it's a great transition uh oh this one mm -hmm. it's like a toffee brown it's not a red base brown the brown that has a little more red undertone is th this one here but it has like the shimmer flex in it so i've used the matte brown even in brows like sometimes i i'm doing makeup and i'm trying to move quickly and i don't want to keep like reaching for several different products i've used uh, like multiple things on one face not mm -hmm. just on the eye so yeah Key to Hi, a great point. it's hard to get a real like good black shadow yes and this one mm -hmm. is excellent 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 what is um, that palette called again the elements maven's palette Here, the elements. that's the one i wear on my saturday nights 
<laughs> yeah, it retails for $42, which is like ridiculously inexpensive. That thing would be $75 in a Sephora. Uh, and our price, and I more think, is like and 30. more than 75 if it was um a pro like a pro line like we'd be talking in the hundreds because those shadows are huge. Mm -hmm. Very true. So just understand like the the value you have out of this. And since we're just we're kissing over nine o'clock. I had some more, but I'm gonna skip ahead to a face ender. Um, and we'll do another training at another time, maybe more product knowledge. So that way those that are new can really kind of dive in and we can go step by step and do more of a product knowledge, which would be maybe around two hours for those that might be interested. Um, so to finish the face, I love a good makeup setting spray. The problem with a lot of ones that I tried before is like, ooh, they smelled nice, but they didn't do anything. <laughs> this one has six different hydrators. Sorry, it's like, it's brand new, so it's reflecting the packaging. It's called our 10 Years Younger Makeup Setting Spray. It has six different hydrators in it, so it helps the makeup look and feel fresh all day long. But think of it like having cooling technology that drops the temperature of your face. Not like, ooh, my face is cold, but it literally flash freezes the makeup on your face for up to 16 hours. There's a really fun story behind this. When, oh my gosh, come off. <laughs> when we first launched this product, they were talking about it on stage. And Lauren Ridinger had been like using a bunch of different types of manufacturer products. And she was actually at Jennifer Lopez's 40th birthday party. It was in New York City and the air conditioning broke. And Ava Longoria and all of these people were coming up to Lauren going, how is your makeup still on your face right now? And she's like, oh, well, I used this new setting spray. Like it must work. So I was like, okay, I was pretty new to the company. And I'm like, all right, I'm a professional. Like, I don't care about what they talk about on stage. I don't believe anything yet. I'm going to try it myself. So picture this, August, Greensboro, North Carolina. So it is like 100,000 degrees and like 90,000% humidity. It is so hot and sticky in Greensboro, North Carolina in August. So we walk into the conference. They had samples of this. So I was like, yeah, go ahead, hit me. They missed it on my face. We went for the full conference. So now you're talking like 8 a.m. Where I applied my makeup around 7, 7.30. 6 p.m. is the end of conference. Then we go out to eat. And I don't know if Nick Friday down there remembers this story. But then they're like, Maleva, UFC fight. Let's go to Hooters and watch the UFC fight. And I'm like, yay. Because <laughs> back then, we didn't have all For the record. Movies. For the record. I yeah. love the USC fights. I don't like that they love it at, at that they have it at Hooters. I love the fights. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the chicken. So, so I'm like the only girl on the team at this point, and I'm like, sure, let's go to the UFC fight. So we go to the UFC fight. It ends at 1 a.m. and they're like, let's go back to the hotel and get drinks. And I'm like. Maliva's going to go to bed because I'm Granny Maliva and I go to bed at like 9, 10 o'clock. It's now 1.30, way past my bedtime. I walk back into our hotel room and I like did a double take in the mirror because I couldn't believe my makeup looked flawless. And this was from 7.30 to now 1 a.m. the next morning. I couldn't believe it. Top three products. This is one of them. Once again, it's our 10 years younger setting spray. It has that cooling technology that flash freezes the makeup on your face for up to 16 hours. I like to spray it. I might have to prime this pump here for a second because it's now. So I like to spray it in an X, about like six to eight inches away from the face. You don't want to like get somebody in the eye. And then I spray it in an X and now I spray in a T. Let that set, you're good to go. For my brides or people that I need to make extra sure this is like super water resistant, I'll do that set three times. So two more times in addition to the one I just did. For my guys, especially the ones that like tend to sweat a lot, my actors, I'll spray this on the back of their neck think that cooling technology and now I don't have to dab or mop away oils or sweat on my guys in front of the 
camera as often. So this is also really great if you tend to get hot or sticky men or women throughout the day. This is great on the back of the neck as kind of a refresher as well. Just real quick, Maleva. Um, I just want to point out, like Nick said, he likes a UFC, but not that it's at Hooters. That's like, just like Jason, he likes the wings, even though it's just at Hooters too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nick likes the coffee too. The coffee at Hooters is delicious. <laughs> I, I'd like to make it clear, please, that I don't care for UFC or wings. I just like Hooters. <laughs> Loaded just total transparency, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> This is a family all show. All y'all that partners, welcome. Welcome yeah. to her. <laughs> v, do you want to touch on the, on the on the 10 years younger setting spray at all? I love the 10, year young, 10 years younger setting spray. I use it. Even if someone, actually though, like even if someone is oily, I actually still use it. I'll just mm -hmm. use, I'll use it after I use the other one. So like Maleva does the three. I'll do that as well. Um, and I use it in between steps um, of me applying like the yeah. foundation and stuff like that. Like I'll use it as I'm blending something out or as like, for instance, with the stick, like we're coming out with the stick foundation and I was using the stick foundation and they're thick and creamy. So I dab it on and then I miss my face and then I blend it out with it on my face already and then i'll go into my powders and all of that stuff and then i'll mix it again um so i put it on with the layers of makeup as well and not just at the end so um great it helps. point it helps it's lovely um my last favorite this is in my purse at all times i actually have two with me right now one is um my personal and one is from my kit so my uh oh this is, this one is my personal one i know i know which one is my personal because it's like it's almost gone and like so dug in but it is the um motive for lala lip shine and color celeb why do i love celeb because it is so neutral. It's such an everyday lip gloss, no matter. Ah! It's look, yours is really dug into. It's such an everyday lip gloss. Um, in this is like home, but you can also put it on top, like she's doing. You can put it on top of other colors, you can put it on with a lip pencil on the outside. Put this on, let it blend in. Um, I love it. I love it. I love having this in my purse. I actually, funny story. So I had this when I first started, okay? And I had it in my purse. And I was at the bar and I put it on. And the bartender was like, what did you just put on your lips? And I said, I pulled it out of my purse and I said, I, I had on this. And she was like, let me see it. And so I opened it up and I showed her. And she was like, ooh, I want that. And I was like, oh, well, great, because I can order you one. And, you know, like, I'm ready to sell it. Like, oh, this is awesome. And she was like, no, 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 no. I want that one. And I was like, no, I get it. Like, I'm going to sell it to you. And she was like, no, I want the one that you have right now. Like, I have to work here all night. I have to be cute. And I have absolutely no lip gloss because I threw, she threw her, MAC lip gloss away because it kept making that uh, yeah. film that happens yep. right there. And so, ladies, we know that's not cute. You're not going to get no, if she working for tips, you're not going to get no tips. You're not going to get no kisses. You're not going to get nothing with that. Like, that's nasty. So no film. She lips. wanted, right. She, she wanted this because she wanted to get love for the rest of the night. So, I actually gave up my lip gloss which is like you know completely unsanitary she didn't care but i i sold her my lip gloss out of my purse so that is keep, hilarious so keep two basically keep, keep, <laughs> one, one, keep one for you and then one to sell that way you always are ready to sell these because it's 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 i love it it's my favorite um 
and Great this summer I feel like even on the beach or by the pool just like sometimes we just want to feel like our lips are moisturized like yes it doesn't have, like, feel sticky it's mm -mm. not sticky it feels very soft on the lips it feels yeah. moisturized it actually lasts a really long time even though it's a gloss like you don't have to <laughs> apply it every every time you say hello like now you need some more lip gloss like no it'll last on the lips and you don't yeah. even necessarily feel it because it feels so light on on your lips um it re retails for 19.95 it actually has um vitamin e in it so it's very moisturizing um and it vitamin e is just great um great for your skin in general so it's great and i love it it's my celeb is my favorite favorite color um personally my mom has a favorite color like my sister has a favorite color but celeb is my favorite color um and it's that's a soft awesome. pink so that's Woo! it that's, those are my things yay we got through these it. are our favorite <laughs> things of course there's more so does anybody quick before we wrap up i know the the guys are itching to teach everybody how to show the plan which i highly encourage you to stick around for does anybody have questions on any of the products that we talked about that we can answer quick we can field a few questions so you guys can just unmute yourself did y'all see that magic <laughs> And when it comes to our fiber lush where the um, makeup wipes, just like tap the makeup wipe onto your lids to let them absorb. Like V talked about, let the ingredients kind of do their work. And then you can use that to remove your um, mascara. Or we also have a, a gentle eye makeup remover. You can do this with your mascara too. Like you can go put the towelette under and then wipe down. It'll help you take off your mascara too. There you go. I love that. I've never tried that before. Love it. So, well, what so I like I got, to do I've real got quick, and I'd like to, I'd like to kind of add to all that. Um, I have no idea what that most of that stuff that you said means, but um, for the guys, I don't know if any of you guys have like eczema or psoriasis or anything like that. But I had a problem <laughs> on one of the TNT events where we had to go on stage and speak, and I had. Um, I had this huge freaking spot on my forehead and it was like bright red. I looked, I looked like I had Mars on my head and, uh, we were supposed to speak and it was kind of, a, I mean, honestly, it was kind of embarrassing. I didn't want to go on there cause I, you know, I was wearing a nice jacket and stuff. And, um, Janie, my wife quick whipped me up some magic motive stuff and covered it up and blended it into my skin and it didn't look like there was anything there and I was frankly I was amazed first nice. time I've ever worn makeup in my life but I don't know if it'll be the last because you know it mean, looks so good product to the product and stuff yeah, yeah buddy well listen great job man that's awesome well first of all I want to thank the ladies here you guys did an absolutely fantastic job so kudos to you I did want to welcome a few people that are on oops they're brand new to the team, and I just want to welcome them. Uh, we have Miriam uh, from uh, New Jersey. She's brand new to the team. She's on. So everybody say hi to Miriam. Hi, Miriam, unmute yourself and say hi. And then Keely Kennedy is on as well, and she's brand new to the team as well. So if you guys can just give them some love real fast. Hey, what's Miriam, up? Miriam, just say Thanks hello. For unmute joining yourself. Us. And there you go. Woo! Don't be shy. I know, right? Hopefully we didn't scare them away. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, well, they're, they're here. So appreciate you guys. Okay, well, thank you guys. This, let me, um, I'm going to end this recording real fast. Um, there we go. See you guys on Tuesday.